Tonight on Idaho News 6, the South Central Public Health District is confirming a cluster of coronavirus cases in a Jerome food processing plant. I'll have the latest information. And two psychologists in the Magic Valley are making sure their clients get the services they need amidst the pandemic. And coming up next in weather for the Magic Valley, we're talking about some pretty big changes coming in. Temperatures rising. There'll be a little cloud cover, but also some heat. I'll have all the hot details coming up next. The Magic Valley's new choice for news. This is Idaho News 6. Good evening, Magic Valley, and thanks for joining us tonight. And happy Memorial Day. I'm Don Nelson in for Roland Barris. At least 30 people have tested positive for COVID-19 in Jerome County, and the South Central Public Health District says the cases are all employees at the food processing plant Right Stuff Foods. Idaho News 6 reporter Natasha Williams explains why district officials expect to see a spike in cases in surrounding counties as a result of this cluster. This marks one of the largest jumps the region has seen in several weeks. The district says they expect the number of cases to be much higher as they receive more test results. No fatalities have been linked to this cluster of cases, but at least one person has been hospitalized. The priority at this point is actually to reach out to people who may have been exposed and let them know that they need to take precautions to protect their own health first of all and make sure that if they did pick it up from any one of these people, they don't spread it on to anyone else. Our media partners, the Idaho Statesman, report officials at the plant ordered testing of the plant's employees after learning more more than 10 employees were sick. The reason social distancing is a rule in the first place is to help prevent the spread of the virus on droplets that come out of your mouth and your nose, especially when you sneeze or cough. So how is a food processing plant different from other workplaces? Try to think about it like this. Most other workplaces are able to maintain that six feet of social distance, but food processing plants are built to have the employees work much closer together. And remember those droplets I told you about? With a shorter distance to travel, the chances of the virus spreading are much higher. Essentially the perfect breeding ground for a respiratory virus. The district says they're also expecting to see a spike in cases in surrounding counties because many of the right Stuff Foods employees live in those areas. The district stresses there is still no evidence of food or food packaging being involved in spreading the coronavirus, but they do expect to see more cases in other food processing plants. One thing we know about our region is that we have, first of all, a huge agricultural base and within that quite a few food processing plants. They are a major employer within our region. So this facility in Jerome County is not going to be the last that we expect to see a cluster of cases like this. Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6. It is important to note this jump in cases is the result of increased testing. As cluster testing increases in the region, the South Central Public Health District says they do expect to see a focus on food processing plant employees. The South Central Public Health District is also investigating another cluster of cases at a food processing plant in Cassia County. The South Central Public Health District says community spread of COVID-19 has been confirmed in four counties in their district. It's been confirmed in Twin Falls, Jerome, Blaine, and Minidoka counties. Community spread means at least one person has been infected with the virus. An investigation has not been able to determine how or where they became infected. That's why the district says it's important to continue taking precautions even if you feel healthy. Don't wait until you have the virus to take precautions to keep from spreading anything that you might have or to catch anything that somebody else might have. Wear those masks when you go to the grocery store. Keep that six feet of distance whenever you interact with people outside of your household. Make sure that you stay home when you're sick. As of today, the South Central Public Health District is reporting 140 cases still being monitored in Twin Falls County, 57 in Jerome County, and 23 in Minidoka County, and 6 in Blaine County. Idaho's coronavirus website says data they received between Saturday and Tuesday will be included in tomorrow's update because of the Memorial Day holiday. Two months ago, Blaine County was Idaho's hot spot for COVID-19 cases. Now, the health district says cases in the county are on the decline. Blaine County is only monitoring six active cases of the virus, according to COVID-19 data on the district's website. Like the rest of the state, community leaders say the county is slowly beginning to reopen. Community leaders told Idaho News 6 back in April they're watching what other counties are doing and feel ready to take on the challenges. 
as a hotspot, as an area that had got more than its fair share of, of uh, positive test cases on, on COVID, uh, people are watching us too. And so we're trying to, to show how we can open responsibly. Even before phase one of the governor's plan to reopen the state, county leaders will work to provide guidelines for the public and businesses. They say educating and informing their community and each person doing their part has been key. Phase three of the governor's plan is scheduled to begin on Saturday.